Hello, Mr. Andrew. This is Hudson from uh, New Youth Paving and Building Contractors, a division of Audio Project. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank you so much uh, for giving us an opportunity to come and have uh, the damage caused uh, by uh, this uh, robust uh, weather, uh, the storm. So, hey, uh, there was a huge damage there. Uh, so now, um, after you know assessing the problem, and uh, yeah, I was able to sort of come up with a solution. So what I I've decided to do is to sort of do some drawings first on how we're gonna sort of you know uh approach this uh you know uh, project from beginning so um so basically what i'm gonna do is just to sort of you know i'm gonna be sort of uh, explaining stages here you know because uh this is a finished drawing so if i could take a little bit back uh, and then um i'm gonna be explaining as i sort of uh, you know come back uh, on each and every stage right so basically what i'm trying to uh, what i was trying to draw is uh uh, sort of some specifications okay i can't go any further okay it's fine all right so you know uh sort of um some dimensions and um uh the measurements or oh, basically all the technical uh, aspects of this project um on how we're gonna start all right and uh, i'll let me just get all the way to the finish because um i just wanna do one thing that you know i won't be able to sort of you know uh talk when i'm sort of editing uh, some of Right, so let me just finish up. This is um, uh, 200 moves. Just say this is not true. Okay, all right, uh, yeah, all right. So basically, uh, this is uh, it's gonna be the pillar, right? Because what I have decided to is uh, what I am proposing is the uh, suitable solution for this problem is to build gabions, um, to support this uh, boundary line. Okay, so the boundary line, this is the pillar, um, and we're going to uh, open up a, a hole, or we're going to dig a hole, or augering a hole that is going to be like half a meter deep, uh, and then we're going to pour concrete. So this is going to be, this is concrete. Let me just label it, because um, it should uh, make sense. Um, okay, hold on, just two minutes. This is the concrete that is going to be holding the... Um, uh, the, the pillars okay all right so then uh we're gonna go like half a meter deep that is the depth of um the hole okay now this is the outside part of your uh, the boundary this is where we actually the river is this is actually uh, the area occupied by the river so basically what we're gonna have need to do is we can either use these gabions that are um, one meter high one meter wide and uh two meters long okay it's just like this drawing here you see these are the dimensions of the gabions all right they come in different uh sizes but there is uh there is uh this is two meters as the length this is two meters uh, that's the length of the gabion and then uh, this is the width of one meter and with again with the height of uh one meter uh this side right okay so let me just label that as well right that's the height of uh one meter right okay so these are the dimensions but there are also other sizes that you know um you know we there is also like the, the one that is two meters long and the width is uh half a meter and the height is half a meter right just like this uh the width of a uh, 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 half a meter and then the height is also half a meter but then i think we're gonna need to use this one because um you see we're gonna need to sort of um uh, excavate a little bit to go down right the base of the river we're gonna excavate a little bit excavate this is the the base all right we're just gonna probably go about 200 mils down digging to the river i mean the river basement and then we open up a trench to lay this gabion all right and then after opening up that trench, we're going to cover it with sand. So the water won't sort of, uh, it's going to actually sort of uh, flow through these uh, rocks that are going to be in the gabion. Right. So it won't sort of then uh, cause erosion on this side. And it won't affect the boundary fence. Okay, that's the solution about it. Right. So, um... Also, I wanted to uh, mention that, you know, we probably need to uh, put
put a mattress okay if we uh it's about this is optional now just to maybe sort of over 100 percent sure that but we might need to put a a, a mattress a mattress is actually sort of a given but it's actually sort of a it's, it's like a it's got a shape of a mattress like a mattress of a bed right it's actually uh there is also a different size of the length and also a different size of the height but the height comes in um half a meter and uh 300 mils okay so uh this is actually so I'm, I'm saying okay next to this gaben that is going to be standing we can put a mattress uh, so that you know water is going to also flow uh, on the mattress without having to erode uh, you know uh, any sand that is going to be beneath the gabion right so the water is going to be flowing uh, on a mattress and this is actually the gabion is actually sort of a, uh, uh, you know protecting this uh, this boundary line from actually getting eroded or alternatively we could just simply lay mattresses only but then uh, you, you see my other concern is it's I'm not sure if it's gonna be because the height of the mattress is only half a meter, and uh, no, and at the height is actually 300 mils. So if you're gonna excavate a little bit just to make it stable in, into the ground, because if it lands on top of the existing level of the river, it's gonna get washed. The river, I mean, the sand underneath uh, the, the mattress, it's gonna get eroded. So I think the best solution is to actually sort of uh, put a gable that is uh, gonna be standing, supporting uh, this um, uh, boundary line, and probably this is alternatively. But if we put this one, I think uh, somehow we might have conquered the solo, uh, the problem. But uh, the mattress is alternative. Okay, so basically like this uh, drawing here. If you look at this drawing here, all right. What I was trying to sort of explain is this is going to be the big gabion that is going to be standing. This is the, the basket, all right. And this is the mattress now. Yes, I elaborated it. And this is the wall, right? This is the border precast wall, right? So I was saying, okay, maybe uh, we should put uh, the gabion and this is the mattress. All right, I'm sure that is clear now. Okay, so um, back to this drawing. Right. Uh, yeah, so another thing, yes, I just remember. This gabion is actually sort of, uh, uh, it's galvanized. And also there are others are PVC coated. So it doesn't corrode into the water. It's a solution. It doesn't corrode. It doesn't get affected with rust because yeah, this yeah, the steel uh, the wires they are sort of coated, uh, they are galvanized, uh, so uh, that makes them suitable to be uh, actually sort of uh, for this um, uh, problem. Okay, so now we go to the driveway. Now. This is the existing driveway. What happened now? You see, um, this is the driveway. This is the boundary line. Uh, this is the stream, right? And this is actually uh, the affected driveway at the moment. It's got a width of uh, three comma six. It has um, uh, a length of uh, uh, 13 meters from uh, from the main road to the gate, right? And uh, so what happened is now the water is actually sort of, uh, it actually sort of changed its course. Instead of actually flowing towards the, the, through this direction, it actually sort of, uh, it, it flew into uh, the driveway. It actually sort of washed all the air that was beneath the boundary line. And then uh, washed everything that was under the asphalt. You see, under this uh, tar, the graph, everything was washed off. That's why I'm saying, you know, if we are going to put the gabions, we need to sort of dip them uh, into the ground. We need to dip them in the ground so that the water will flow from a, a, a ground that is elevated. So uh, if we just lay them on a topper, it's, it's not going to work. Right. So uh, the main important, the most important aspect of this uh, drawing is actually to sort of... Uh, um, just to emphasize the, the direction that you're gonna divert if you put up the gabions, you're gonna divert the water direction, right? So uh, another thing is, if you haven't watched the, you know, if you haven't seen a gabion, uh, how it looks like. Okay, let me just. This is actually from a factory. This is how they look like if they haven't been assembled. Let me uh, before assembling them. This is how they look like. You know, you know, no matter what size, this is how they look like. Um, all right. So basically to show you. All right, and then when they are filled up, uh, this is how they look like. You see those ones. These ones are like uh, two by uh, half a meter, half a meter. You see, they come in all different sizes. All right. So this is how basically they look like. This is all, those are big ones, uh, one by one, uh, two by one by one. All right. So basically this is actually. Let me just uh, show you another one. This is actually uh, how they look like. One, two, three, four, 